Hey guys, welcome to another video by Simply Learn. In this video, we will look at advanced TypeScript concepts. Here is a list of topics what are covered in this video. So we'll first look at type assertions, type aliases, TypeScript generics, in operator, nullable types, index types, index signatures, map types, similarly conditional types, supporting libraries from node modules, the awaited type and promise type, assert signature, top level await, and recursive type aliases. So these are the some of the advanced concepts which we will cover in this video. Before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon so you never miss an update from Simply Learn. Watch the video till the end so that you don't miss out on any concept. So without wasting any further time, let's get started with advanced TypeScript. We'll first look at type assertions. Type assertion is similar to type cast in other languages, but it does not do any additional verification or restructuring. It has no effect on runtime and is only used by the compiler. TypeScript expects that you, the programmer, have completed the necessary and specific checks. So there are two types of assertions. One is the as syntax and the other one is the angle bracket syntax. Both versions are identical. Choosing one over the other is primarily a matter of preference. However, only as style assertions are allowed when combining TypeScript with JSX. Type aliases. Type aliases give a type a new name. Type aliases are similar to interfaces in that they can be used to name primitives, unions, tuples, and any other kind that you would have to define by hand otherwise. Aliasing doesn't truly create a new type. Instead, it gives the type a new name. Aliasing a primitive isn't very useful. However, it can be used for documentation purposes. Type aliases like interfaces can be general. All we have to do is add type parameters and utilize them on the right side of the alias declaration. This is the syntax for type aliases. Type generics. Type generics is a tool for creating reusable components in TypeScript. Rather than working with a single data type, it builds a component that can interact with various data kinds. It enables users to consume these components while also using their kinds. Generics ensure that the software is both adaptable and scalable over time. Consider the below code without generics. The identity function is a function that returns whatever is sent in as a parameter. You could either provide the identity function with a specific type or the identity function with any type. While the use of any is generic, when you use any, the function accepts any kind for the type of argument. As a result, when the function returns, you lose the information about what the type was. The only information you have is that any type could be produced if you pass a string. So for that, we need the means to capture the argument type in such a way that we can use it to signify what is being returned as well. We will utilize a type variable here, which is a form of variable that deals with the types rather than values. The identity function now has a type variable called type. This type allows you to capture the type of data the user supplies. For example, a number or a string, so that you can use it later. You are going to utilize type as the return type once more. Next, we will look at the in operator. The in operator serves as a type narrowing expression. The true branch narrows to types that have an optional or required property n, and the false branch narrows to the types that have an optional or missing property n for a n in x expression. Where n is a string literal or a string literal type and x is the union type. Below is an example code for in operator. Null and undefined are two special types in TypeScript that have the values null and undefined respectively. 
they are not particularly useful much like void null and undefined are subclasses of all other types by default that means you can give things like number null and undefined values when the strict null checks flag is set however null and undefined can also be assigned to unknown any and the respective types this helps you avoid a lot of frequent errors you can use them as union type string null and undefined if you want to send in either a string null or a undefined next we have index types using index types we can get the compiler to check code that utilizes dynamic property names by using index types a typical javascript pattern for example is to select a subset of an object's property we may build and use this function in TypeScript using the index type query and index access operators. Let us jump into Visual Studio Code and understand index types more better. So consider this code as an example for index types. Here, key of t, the index type query operator. For any type t, key of t is the union of known public property names of t and t of k the indexed access operator is the second operator the type syntax reflects the expression syntax in this case and t of k can be like index type queries be used in generic environment which is where its truly potential can be seen all we have to do now is make sure that the type variable k extends t of t in get property o t and property name k so that means of property name the compiler will initiate the actual type of the key after you return t of k result therefore the return type of get property will change depending on which property you request index signature index signature interact with the key of and the t of k the type of an index signature argument must be either a string or a number. If your type has a string index signature, key of t will be a string or a number. Because in JavaScript, you can access an object property using either a string or number. t of string is simply the index signature type. Below is the syntax for index signature. If you have a type with number index signature, e of t will just be a number map types taking an existing type and making each of its property optional is a typical undertaking because this happens frequently enough in javascript typescript has a new feature called map types that allows you to define new types based on existing ones the new types turn each property in the old type in the same way in a map type for example, make all the properties optional or the read-only type. It's important to note that this syntax refers to the type rather than a member. You can use an intersection type to add more members. This is the simplest map type and its parts. The syntax is similar to the index signature with a for in the middle. There are three sections in total. The type variable k is assigned to each property one by one. The literal union of string, the names of the properties to iterate over a stored in keys. And third one, the properties type is a result. Next, we have conditional types. Based on the condition given as a type relationship test, a conditional type chooses one of the two alternative types. When t can be assigned to u, the type is x. And when it can't, the type is y. Because the condition depends on one or more type variable, a conditional type t extends u. So x is to y and is either resolved to x or y or delayed. Whether to resolve to x or y or to differ, when t or u contains type variables is determined by whether the type system has enough information to conclude that t is always assignable to u. In conditional types, we also have distributive conditional type. That is a conditional type in which the check type is Bay type parameter. During instantiation, 
distributive conditional types are automatically distributed over union types. Supporting libraries from node modules. TypeScript includes a series of declaration files to guarantee that TypeScript and JavaScript support works well right out of the box. And TypeScript includes a series of declaration files. However, there are two drawbacks to using these declaration files with TypeScript. One drawback is since while upgrading TypeScript, we must also deal with the changes of TypeScript built in declaration files, which can be difficult when the DOM APIs change so regularly. And the other drawback is that customizing these files to meet your needs and the demands of project dependencies is difficult. So, to overcome this, a new feature like types was added that allow us to override a specific built-in library. Then we can update TypeScript and lock the file in dependency management, ensuring that it utilizes the same version of DOM types. As a result, we can update the types on our own schedule. Then with, then with TypeScript 4.5, we can update TypeScript and lock file in our dependency management. Awaited type and promise improvements. The awaited type is the new utility introduced in TypeScript. This type is intended to represent activities such as await in async functions and the then method on promises, notably the way they recursively unwrap promises. Existing APIs such as JavaScript, built in like promise.all, promise.race, and others can benefit from awaited type. In fact, some of promise.all inference concerns provided as foundation for awaited. Promise.all combines certain traits with awaited to produce far superior inference results. Tail recursion elimination on conditional types. When TypeScript identifies potential infinite recursion or any type expansion that take a long time and damage your editor experience, it often fails. As a result, TypeScript includes heuristics to ensure that it doesn't run off the tracks while deconstructing an indefinitely deep type or working with types that provide a lot of intermediate results. Let's jump into Visual Studio Code and look at an example. The trim left type, for example, removes spaces from the beginning of string like type. When provided a string type with space at the beginning, trim left returns the reminder of the string to the user. This type is handy, but it will throw an error if a string contains more than 50 leading spaces. This is problematic because these types are frequently used in modeling operations on strings, such as parsers for URL routers. To make matters worse, a more powerful type useful generates more type installations, resulting in even additional input length restrictions. Trim left is written in such a way that it is tail recursive on one branch. When it calls itself again, it returns the result instantly and does nothing with it because these types don't require any intermediate outcomes. They can be constructed more rapidly and without activating many of TypeScript built-in type recursion heuristics. Next we have assert signatures. The assert signature features allow us to construct functions that operate as type guards as a side effect instead of returning their boolean result explicitly. Consider a below example. After a search string, TypeScript has no way of knowing if you have guaranteed the type of input. To prevent this, most people just make the parameter input string, which is fine. But it also moves the type checking problem somewhere. And in circumstances where you just want to fail hard, Having this option is beneficial. If this function ever returns, TypeScript can filter the type of input to string, exactly like it would be if it were inside an if block with a type card. To make this safe, the assert function must either give an error or not return at all if the assert 
assertion isn't true. And lastly, we have recursive type aliases. The ability to recursively reference type aliases has been limited. The reason for which is because each type aliases must be capable of substituting itself for whatever it aliases. Because this isn't always possible, the compiler rejects some recursive aliases. Interfaces can be recursive, but their expressiveness is limited and type aliases cannot. That involves combining the two, creating a type alias and extracting the type's recursive operations into interfaces. Interfaces can be recursive, but their expressiveness is limited and type aliases cannot. That involves combining the two, creating a type alias and extracting the type's recursive portions into interfaces. It's effective. By establishing an interface, users may write what was practically the same code. TypeScript has no trouble working with the interfaces and other object types because they introduce a level of indirection and their whole structure does not need to be eagerly built up. However, many found the workaround of introducing the interface to be inconvenient. And there was nothing wrong with the old version of value or array that used array directly in concepts. So with that, we have reached the end of this video. Like and share it if you found it interesting. Thank you so much for being here. Keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.